We're here. We're gonna go see Love Simon at City Walk. We've never been here when it's been light up. And it's crazy because like we're gonna go buy our tickets and the movie is in 20 minutes. We're gonna go in the movie and not even get to see City Walk during the day <laughs> because we don't have time to go run around. But we might. But we're excited. We usually go to the movies really late. So now today we're here early so that we can do something after the movie. We don't know if we're gonna stay here after or go somewhere at Disney. But we'll get out of here at almost 10. Yeah, look how comfy I am. She's looking comfy. But I'm just excited. It's a relaxing night because we have a busy like five days ahead of us. Going to see this awesome movie, so I heard it's awesome. <laughs> so that movie was amazing. Everybody's been talking about it and saying it's incredible, and I think it was. I think every single person should go see that. Yeah, I think everyone should go see it. Like, I wish, I mean, you can say all you want, you wish that it came out like a, like when we were in high school. Or, or, anything, but, or decades ago. Right. Because, like, imagine watching that movie in high school. Like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a spectacular movie. Yeah. Well done. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna be that dad. Like, if you've seen the movie, like, I've, I was, like, sitting there, I'm like, the dad, like, not with the jokes or anything, but, like, with the crying and the emotionalness, like, that's gonna be me. Like, my children are gonna, like, bake me the first pancake, I'm just gonna be a blubbering mess. We're just gonna love them <laughs> so fully. It's gonna be but it was such a good mess, it's such a good movie, and I know it's doing good in the world. Yeah. Come on, the wind. <laughs> I know it's doing good in the world, and that's super, like, that's what makes me the happiest about it. Yeah. So loving and accepting, and it's just a breath of fresh air. Yeah. It's so good. So go you see have it, to go and see bring it. people to go see and it. Tweet us the picture of your movie ticket, and we'll send you a buddy. Yeah, we will. <laughs> I didn't know she was going with that, <laughs> but we will. We. Uh, we will, you won't pick, we'll pick what button, <laughs> but you'll get one. Yes. But look at this place. This was all boarded up. Here's Voodoo Donuts. Good things come in pink boxes. Oh, I think Sarah made the decision already. Hold on, let me zoom in. That's like in the, the right now in the beginning of uh, the Mexico Pavilion. The skeleton's getting married. And look at the, uh, this is super cool. They still got some stuff they're putting together. But let me let me zoom in on this menu. Oh, look at that! De the decorations back there. It's super cool. There you go. Raised donuts, vegan donuts. That's cool. Fritters. So they have an apple fritter, and these prices aren't bad. A buck fifty, two bucks, two ninety five. You have been dying for donuts. I literally. The fritters two ninety five. They got something called a Memphis Mafia. I'm gonna get that. And that one over there is. That's the same as our baguette. Ooh. Devil's food cake, plain cakes, dozens. So it is, it is twenty eight dollars for a dozen. But like Dunkin' Donuts is twenty. What's an all classic dozen for sixteen? Someone tell me online how to properly record this at night without it getting all washed out like that. But I wanted to point out something, and it's only going to happen for a short amount of time, I hope. But if you go on Facebook and find our Brookar Project page and you leave a review, not just like a review, but like like stars, but like add a comment to it, you can be featured on our new website. So we're adding a, a portion of the website is that can be dedicated to reviews from Facebook to kind of get our conversation as our little community going. So go to Facebook right now, the Brookout Project, and leave a review. Hopefully it's nice. If it's not, we'll take it too, because we're not perfect. Do it again. I'm never going to my pants. Do it again. Okay, I've I've heard these <laughs> Did you rip them? Just a little. <laughs> what? My my ripping was much more dramatic. <laughs> Did your pants rip? <laughs> <laughs> when I did the toe touch and. It I gotta say, I think it's because uh, we haven't been here too many times, but this spot right here, like this openness, and a park right there, and a park right there, this kind of gives me vacation feels. A little bit. Because you've only been here a handful of times? Yeah, because it's like super new and it's not like our Monday through Friday. It's like getting familiar now. Yeah. 
It's like Animal Kingdom and the halfway through our college program because we didn't go to it too much. Um, Deer Dolly at Disney Springs. So it's 11.30. So Sarah wants, so that is, that is Sarah's way of, in a Sarahism, saying we're going to Disney Springs on the way home. We should go to Disney Springs. I was feeling that before we did Love Simon, but bittersweet, bittersweet. The AMC there still doesn't. Battle of the downtown. Yes, but the, what I was trying to say is the AMC there just still doesn't accept Movie Pass. Come on, Movie Pass, help us out. Would make this thing so much more easy. But before I start, Ooh, Universal just replied to Sarah's tweet. <laughs> See, I just tweeted. They have like flat. Um, toilet paper dispenser so you can like balance your phone. You don't have to balance your phone. And I tweeted about it and Universal is too bad. I was just gonna say thank you Movie Pass for eliminating it from Disney Springs because otherwise we would not come here as often as we do. True. We would have found that out. We wouldn't start to feel like Like we want to go to Universal more. We wanted to but like now it's like so at our fingertips. So thank you Movie Pass for doing that. Disney Springs to check out this, the Walt Disney and get some chocolate. Ah, I see the guest oh. member passing them out. You been jonesing for some chocolate. So and, have I. And a pretzel dog from Pretzels Pretzels. I'm gonna buy this <laughs> just so I can get Mickey Mouse knuckles whenever I want. <laughs> Go check it out. Well, hopefully it's out still. Sarah's classic move, her phone dies. So now she's using my phone to post. But that's that's what best friends do. She gets to use my phone when hers dies. And we also have joint all social media accounts. Ooh, welcome aboard. Please seat yourself. What do we got? Lincoln tuna tacos. Max pork belly slider sounds so good. Snake bites. Sliders. Air Pirates Queso Fundido. Ooh, Sankara Stones and Barrels Fried Spice Encrusted Cheese Curds with Crispy Potato Are Barrels. Are those fancy oh. word for tater tots? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I want all of this. Empanadas. Old World Pizza of San Marco. Deep dish pizza topped with fresh <laughs> potato sauce. Potato sauce? Tomato sauce, sweet basil. Melted provolone and pepperoni. Deep dish. Deep dish. Deep dish. I want to go look and see if they have cast put us, put us a comment down below if you've had the deep dish. We were also trying to figure out, we were talking about which location, majority of locations of Disney Springs are not owned and operated by Disney. They're by third party companies, so they got name tags. So these people got name tags. So I was like, I think Hangar Bar is strictly Disney. Like Morimoto, Morimoto, um, the new ones, Enzo's, Mar uh, Edison. Edison, they're all owned and managed by a different company. Raglan Road. Raglan Road. Homecoming is, her. Yeah. the boathouse is done, is managed and owned by Gibson Steakhouse in Chicago. Shout out Chicago. <laughs> you can still make reservations for these restaurants through Disney, they're just Some not. They're just not. Can you do it for Enzo's yet? They're still open tables. The new new ones are open tables still. Yeah, I, I don't think they've got Sorry, booking she through. She had the groove going through her. Charity So Pretty is the, the underdog of Disney Springs. It is so good. Forever Sarah's secret favorite in Disney World. The original patio. Ooh, the original patio. We're home. We're home. We're home. We're home. We're home. home. And we got some fun things going on. First of all, we've got to show this earlier, we got this Winter Wonderland from Sumter, Oregon. From one of our friends, Mark. Thank you so much for, you're always commenting, we love that. And we love this postcard. There's even a Lady Tremaine, um... Stamp. Stamp on it. Look at that, that's awesome. But thank you so much for that postcard, we loved it. 
Um, we're also living that, that like, what's that, like first year marriage, like college young life right now. Mm -hmm. Having some ramen noodles as a little evening snack. Um, but this is was our, from our friend Maria. So. So pumped. amazing. So pumped, so unexpected. It's a Thomas Kingate painter of light. It's a nightlight. Yeah, so it's this painting here, but it's a nightlight. And I don't know if you've heard in a couple of the vlogs, Maria, this is my favorite scene from Peter Pan, and it's my favorite scene in Philhar Magic, and I just love it so much. Too. Yeah, we do have this as a puzzle, and I love all the little details in the mountains, or the clouds, like mm -hmm. Tic Tac Croc, Captain Hook, and then everybody flying off to Neverland. Thank you so much for this, it's incredible. Now I have to go make my ramen noodles. Oh, and got a classic about time plan. I haven't watched this in, I don't think I've watched this since we moved here. Um, what just happened at midnight? We found like a really quick brownie mix that we're gonna make. This looks terrible on our diet slash marathon training. Um, it's carbs for the for the long distance run. You know, it's just a really small thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's and it's gonna a, expire soon. So we gotta finish it so it doesn't go to waste. There we have a before shot, and there's the after. It is extremely late. I think we're gonna eat up tomorrow. <laughs> it is extremely late. We're gonna go to bed. But those will be good. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Don't forget to like and subscribe our videos if you like our shenanigans. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.